In Huntingdonshire, grime busters Callum and Clive right, that's done. are getting ready to burn rubber. Beacons! I've been here two years. At the start, it was a bit disgusting, but after a while, you get used to it. I have to change in the porch before I'm allowed in the house. I'm not allowed in the house with my work uniform. Today, they're patrolling the A14. Blue sky, that's promising, and that's coming from the west. The two of us, we will go into all the laybys, we will replace all the bin liners, take all that rubbish away. We then litter pick all the way through the lay-by. But only the lay-by, we won't be going past that. It becomes too dangerous with the traffic as it's a 70 mile an hour road. These lay-bys are mostly used by drivers for brakes of the inconvenient kind. See all these tissues? What they do is they have a poo down there and then they put the tissues over the top of it and then just leave it. It's disgusting. It's a bottle of weed. They've just chucked it out the window over the fence. And it's not just the lorries leaving skid marks in the lay-by. We've got an old bit of human excrement here. I was quite horrified, actually, the first time, because it's something that I've never stopped in before, lay-bys. And to suddenly see this, it was a shock, but now um, it's an everyday occurrence. What we'll do is we'll get a brush and some water and we'll just try and wash it down. That's the best we can do. For the drivers along this stretch, it seems that getting the journey over with is more important than taking comfort breaks. Instead of stopping to go to the toilet, they're pooing in nappies. And when they do stop eventually, they change them and chuck them out the window. There are five bins in this lay-by which get changed on a regular basis and you still see all this on the floor. Diarrhea. Someone's had a poo and pooed in a bag and chucked it out rather than finding a toilet. But there will be no relief for Callum and Clive until they've sanitised every inch of the lay-by. It's absolutely disgusting. This is just for starters. On to the next one. When I pull up in the lay-by, just sit tight for a few seconds, make sure everything's all right first before we get out. And if picking up poop wasn't bad enough, they also run the risk of becoming roadkill. We've got a car coming in now, watch yourself. Mm -hmm. A lot of traffic, lorries, arctics. It's a very busy road and very dangerous. One of the dangers there, if you're next to an arctic, there's no, not much room. You'll end up a pancake. Talking of pancakes... I don't think it's a hamburger. I think it's uh, human excrement again. It seems the lunchtime crowd have deposited even fresher stomach-churning challenges. Someone's took a turd on the pavement. We can't leave out there. If excrement is left in the lay-by, other people see it and they just feel that it's acceptable to do this when it's not. So we have to clear it away. It is very grim. There are 12 service stations on the A14, all with public toilets. But even with Clive and Callum present, it doesn't deter the drivers who have been caught short. Someone's having a wink. As fast as Team Toilet can clear it, a steady stream of new arrivals is increasing their workload. There you go, another one. Just went round the side of that lorry. Disgusting, really. People have to pull in there to have their lunch break. And they've got to go in there with the smell of people's wee. Rubbish. So how much poop and all-round rubbish does a poop scooper scoop in a working day? We would find, I would say, three-quarters of a ton during the day on, on the A14-A1. I'm sure if I look harder, I'll find plenty more. If one person leaves a bag, other people think it's fair game to do exactly the same. And in no time at all, it just piles up. 
So we have to keep on top of it. We just can't stop.